Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily drink be bad. Just kidding. I wish that that wasn't a kidding. Um, we vlog every day. Come hang out with us whenever you want. We'll be here. Sorry, there's a little kid screaming in the background. It's not a real little kid. It's house, the haunting on Hill House because the house on the haunting of Bill Bly Hill Mountain released today on Netflix and we might give it a whirl this weekend. But it's almost the weekend, it's 4.30. Sarah's getting ready. <laughs> Sarah's crawling out of her skin right now, I don't know why. So, I'm gonna begin the weekend with this Be Bad and I'm gonna eat this entire bag of candy corn. For dinner, we got spaghetti and this taco pepper tomato sauce concoction that I just whipped up. Hello, I am still in this place of being torn about my to-do list and needing rest. I actually got a lot of stuff done today, um, but I'm just like losing my drive. I'm just ready to pour all of my energy into this little baby more than I already am. Um, I'm so excited for him to be here that I'm just like, now the countdown is on. I'm like, let's just do this thing. Um, but anyways, I was going to just be like, let's get something for dinner. Um, but I'm so happy that I pulled myself together. Basically just took some veggies that we had in the fridge, had half a orange pepper, a full green pepper, half an onion, some mushrooms, um, a can of diced tomatoes whipped it all together with some garlic and the seasonings that you would like find in taco seasoning cumin paprika cayenne pepper red pepper flakes garlic um and then made a sauce that we're gonna have over spaghetti so it's kind of like taco spaghetti yeah, it's spaghetti. <laughs> um and then i did put i mean just some oil and oat milk in it to get it a little bit creamier and that is going to be our dinner Hey, I want to go to Magic Kingdom, but it closes in an hour. What's up with that? This is the Netflix documentary we started yesterday. We just finished it now. Definitely watch it. It's important, scary, but also hopeful. What should we do tonight? Can we say that... I mean, I we're, I gonna say. we're a little perturbed with... Our favorite place. Yeah, we're like another. We're another bit of like because of where we live and because of our work schedule. Like, like it's the theme and, parks aren't as easily accessible to us right. right now. And I also feel like the recent there was another announcement about more layoffs yeah. from the union. Yeah. Then, um, yeah. Actually, our. Our friend Jen, she posted a, a great video of articulating her feelings, and I think, I don't know if you watched it, Peter, um, but I think I'll we'll watch it later because I feel like we agree with her on a lot. So I'll just link her video above. But it's kind of just like a a whole mixture of emotions. Yeah, it's that, not easy because like you want to still support Disney because it's going to close if you don't. But right, you because don't if agree we with it if we stop our passes things. and stop like. We want to help all the cast members that still have their jobs maintain their jobs. Right now, this is from Twitter, so like I didn't look into it, fact check it, but like somebody I saw the other day tweet like, people are forgetting that like there are CEOs like the CEO of Southwest that isn't that stopped taking a salary completely mm -hmm. to to ward off layoffs. Now I don't know if it's true that they've had no layoffs or anything, but. Disney reinstated all of the executive salaries like a month and a month, month and a half before they announced all the layoffs. So it's just like. And I know you said you kind of wanted to wait until you we until like those records are public about like the there other are, losses that Disney has had. Yeah, but like there are facts. Like, could could Bob Iger and Bob could the Bobs not taking their entire salary have saved all twenty eight thousand cast members? No. But it could have saved a portion of them. Right. Um, some of those things were inevitable because of the the pandemic, but 
Could it have been handled better? Yes. Could it have been twenty? Could it have been less than twenty thousand? Yes. Like, and so also, like, like, it's not all one bank account. Like, mm-hmm. we're very aware of like our DVC doesn't pay for yeah. those cast members. Or like, and like, money. I understand that there's or a difference checks, between rather. like the same day that Disney announces that twenty eight thousand cast members from the parks are getting laid off, that they announce that they're going to produce a live action movie. And it's like. They are and are not from the same bank accounts, and mm-hmm. I we have a better understanding of that because of my personal experience working in like financial auditing of big companies, both for Disney and for other big companies. Um, so it's not as simple as saying, "Well, they're making a new Broadway show, but they can they can't keep these twenty thousand. Like it's different. It's like same same but different. But it's still frustrating because did it have to be? That's my question: is how much did, of that twenty thousand had to actually get fired? That's what the quarter-ending financial release will show. Right. So there's that. There's the hours. There's our work schedule. There's how far away we live. And I want to take advantage of, like, for the most part, you're kicking butt. You're about to have a baby in, like, two weeks. I'm ready to... And you're ready to... to, We can go. I would go to Epcot and... Right. You know, like, I I do feel, you know, I'm... And we're blessed to have that because you could have been just, like, not feeling it for weeks now. Yeah. I think we should just get in the car and leave and figure out where we're going to go tonight. Yeah? Yeah. It's 6.18. Let's not wait until it's like 7.30 to get out and go. Let's get some fresh cups of water, get in the clothes, whatever we're going to wear out, because I'm not wearing this outfit out. Peter got new fancy pants for yeah, new the hospital. Fancy pants for the hospital, so I'm just breaking them in, and a couple new shirts. Yeah. Um, we finished watching that David Attenborough. I want to look in a more regenerative agriculture locally to see like can we go not just to the farmers market but like be a, like build relationships with the farmers yeah okay let's change this is a four minute clip but i think it's welcome with... to our life <laughs> it's all <laughs> it's all worth it yeah this wait time be 10 minutes in a long time. Yeah. So we're going on Space Yeah. Yeah. Remember how easy it was to learn your ABCs? Track the Phoenicians. They invented them. showcase but it's the weekend so these like I don't know enough of the hard facts but there's like the booths that are only open on the weekends right I don't know there well is this what's this one in front of us it's fire or I don't know flavors it's fla- yeah it's fla- flavors of fire and then that one over there has like waffles or donuts or something donuts yeah it's got the donuts but the park is open till nine tonight that's why we were able to make this work yes got um Park passes at like seven o'clock. Right. So yeah, complicated emotions, but we're here. We're working through it. We're working through it. Wait a minute. All of this smells so good. Smoked corned beef with crispy potato, cheese curds, pickled onions, and beer cheese fondue. That is Sarah Brookhart written in your gut. In my blood. The other stuff sounds good too. We were sold because of the portion size. You will not believe this. What? That's insane. 
I have no words. <laughs> Sarah, I hope your belly does not hurt after this. It's probably going to, but... Worth it? Yeah. Cheese curds. <laughs> One bite in. I had corned beef in a long time. She just had a chip, corned beef, and a cheese curd on it, and her face said it all. Delicious or no? No words. Peter tried it. I did try it. <laughs> this reminds me of like... I was on. reserving my non-veganism for the pizza tonight. <laughs> um, like on Somebody Feed Phil, I could see him eating this and us just looking we at We should do meeting. a Somebody Feed Phil episode in Disney World with him. The pickled onions are so good. I didn't try a single pickled onion. The way I did. I don't know. This may be the best thing at the best food. That's a lie. It's a we haven't tried everything. It's a fisherman's <laughs> pie, hands down, undisputably. My other favorite was the lobster mac and cheese. This week's got lobster. I feel like we haven't been at Epcot at night. At this is beautiful! In a long time. And I just need to like... Soak it in? Soak it in. We're doing a lap at the end of this after this pot close, I think. If we're feeling up for it. Yeah, okay. Let's see if the pizza window is open. Ah. Uh, this at seven. Seven? This closed at seven. I wonder if that's when this closed. The window is closed, but it's clearly available. I'm sorry. You don't want to sit on the stoop over there? Sure. Why are your hands so full? It's a cannoli and pizza. Flatbreads. What in tarnation? Take that pizza window. <laughs> we'll go festival style. And? Delicious. A cannoli. cannoli. Alright, it is. I got toasty. Ten minutes till park close. We got some waters over at the Sam Regal bar. We're just gonna hang out here until nine o'clock and then we're gonna do a nice quiet half lap. Half lap. Because this girl's been getting some heat flashing a little bit here and there. Just just sweaty. I mean, it's, it's still in the 80s. Yeah. But it was a nice breeze tonight. Yes. They're playing Easter Parade at the American Pavilion. What? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can you hear that? You hear it? You hear it? It's the post illumination, so. That's the proper way to walk around World Showcase Lagoon. And we saw some photos leaked online of the harmo one of the harmonious barges. Right! I you also take illuminations back, thank you very much. Yeah. But. It's crazy because like Epcot Forever did not get its time, but Harmonious could be the first fireworks show back. Could I think be. it makes sense. Could, could what? At Epcot. Social distancing, not a bad seat in the house. Look at this crazy dog. Get him, Evie, get him. <laughs> Evers. 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 She's on alert. <laughs> Give me kisses. I have my ACS singlet on because it was time to run. But I kept joking around with Sarah saying, because the whole plan was she was going to write thank you cards while I go run, but then it got later, like we, there was traffic, we got home later, excuses. Then we got home and Eve was so snuggly. And then I said, you know what, joking around, I was like, let's just go to bed. You know what? In the next 10 minutes, we're either gonna go all in, I'm gonna go run eight miles, we're gonna go do thank you cards, or we're gonna go to bed right this moment. And then there was that moment of silence. Sarah was laying with Eve on our bed and I got changed, even had my running socks on. And I just looked at Sarah and I was like, let's just go to bed. We're gonna get up early for a Saturday and be productive. Be productive. It's okay to rest. We gotta 
Gotta rest. We're gonna have a busy time soon. Yeah. Oh, I am gonna go on a long run tomorrow morning. Yeah. Um, here is your reminder to have a voting plan. Sometimes things don't happen the way you expect. Have a backup plan. Just be sure to vote. And if you've already voted, comment Hot below. Hot dog. Yeah. Oh, Eve's. I, I definitely can't go for a run. <laughs> She's attacking my socks. <laughs> Would you the message? Yeah. Say it's good to be home. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. October 9th. If I were asked to give what I consider the single most useful bit of advice for all humanity, it would be this. Expect trouble as an inevitable part of life. And when it comes, hold your head high. Look it squarely in the eye and say, I will be bigger than you. You cannot defeat me. Ann Landers. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.